Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Solvings, where I make solving practices easier and educative. Yeah, recently the DeepSeq AI has been revolutionizing the world of geographic information system. So recently I've been making use of this particular AI to generate and produce different maps of interest. However, in the course of this video, I want to introduce you all to using the DeepSeq AI to generate maps through the ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so getting started with ArcGIS Pro as a beginner or as a novice or a professional, this video is just for you. So when you open your ArcGIS Pro, you come to map to create a new project for your particular uh, mapping. So I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube. You note the location of the job the project then you make sure this is uh, checked to create a new folder for the project then you click on ok so you are going to see your work environment open this way so if you have any default base map on your work environment you can just click to remove it by clicking on it you right click then you scroll to remove so you remove the base maps that are default appearing under your layer all right then when you remove it, you come to your map, all right, you right click and add your primary data. Therefore, what I want to achieve in the course of this video, the map of interest is the drainage network map. So I want to denominate a drainage network from a DEM, a digital elevation model from the AI to the ArcGIS Pro, all right. So I'm just going to add my data. So you should click on add data. Then you navigate to your DEM, all right, what you want to use, which is the primary data. So I'm just going to add my primary data, which is the DEM of Emo State. So here is my DEM. You can check under the video description to see how to download DEM from different websites or sources, all right. So after that, you minimize, then you open your DeepSeek AI app. Please, if you are just joining me for the first time, you can check under the comment section to see how to download and install this app freely. So you come to the search box, alright, this question. I would like to see the drainage network from my GT2 elevation model in ArcGIS Pro, comma, could you provide a Python script that I can run in my ArcPy? So ArcPy is the uh, Python uh, window for uh, ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so in my ArcPy that will show results in ArcGIS Pro, then make sure your system is connected to an active internet, then you click on send. So automatically it will start generating a Python script that you are going to copy and paste in your ArcPy, in your ArcGIS Pro to generate a drainage network for your study area. Then you are going to see a brief explanation below of the different deliverables, all right? So when you are generating manually the drainage network, you are going to be needing these deliverables, the field DEM, the flow direction, the flow accumulation, the CON, the CON. This is a particular mathematical method to generate stream network then the stream to feature okay that was going to convert the raster stream network to vector format so these are the deliverables and the process to generate a drainage network all right so you are going to see the python code scripts generated by the ai so you can see it has simplified the whole process of the stress even if you do not have any background knowledge of coding so you are going to see your script and when you check below make sure that what you see here is process completed successfully if you see any other thing please do well to come back to the question come to the edit message then you resend the question for it to generate a result a ArcPy code that is reading successfully so what you are now going to do is to copy the python code script you minimize you come to your ArcGIS pro all right then you come to analysis when you come to analysis you come to python you click on the drop down shadow arrow then you click on python notebook
so this window is going to pop up this is the ArcPy uh, windows for the ArcGIS Pro then you come here and paste the DeepSeek AI Python scripts that was generated earlier so here you are going to see it pasted then you come to this impute them raster then you edit it to the raster name you have on your layer so what i have on my layer is dm underscore emo so i'm going to edit that to what it is all right then you leave the file extension .tif the way it is then you can scroll down and you see that the drainage network generated and added to the map successfully and you click on run Then you give it a little bit time you are going to find out that all results is going to be generated at your layer so it is calculating and generating all results for us please i'm going to copy this particular python code script that was generated in a notepad and attach it under the video description in case you just want to use it directly to run your particular code in your own rgis pro software thank you so these are the results it is done uh generating all the results under my layer for me so you will come to map all right and you can see this is the drainage network it has been generated and denominated already based on the parameter given by the DeepSeek ai app so you can choose to edit so before you generate your result you can choose to edit the threshold if you want to depending on what you want when you are done editing you click on run code it is going to generate your results for you all right so you can just come here to start editing so here is the drainage network so i'm just going to come to properties and rename that okay as drainage network Then click on OK. So I can choose to uncheck the flow accumulation. Then you are going to see the next thing is flow direction. So if I zoom, these are the raster for flow direction. I'm going to uncheck that. So the next thing is the field DEM. All right, field DEM. Let me uncheck my the primary data, which is the DEM. So field DEM. I'm just going to click on this icon here come to this and change it to a multicolor all right so i'm just going to go with this okay so that is how to use ai to generate drainage network using DeepSeek ai so you can choose to do some other form of editing like making the drainage network a little bit bold something like this if you wish to all right then you can leave it as that so that is how i use the DeepSeek ai easily to generate my drainage network easily without going through the whole process all right so thank you guys if you find this video helpful and informative do it to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial freely thank you see you in the next video